What's going on guys, Ashtinio Plays here and welcome back to another video on my channel and today is episode 7 of the FIFA 17 Newcastle United career mode and today we have got another 4 games as always that is how it is in my video is 4 games an episode. First we have got Wigan away then closely followed by Burton away and then it's 2 quick fire home games on Boxing Day against Sheffield Wednesday and against Nottingham Forest who we did play just earlier in the month and in fact last episode but the return game at home to them coming right up so just the one thing to really notify you of in the squad I guess is that for all there are a few changes Gray, Anita and Nakwat coming to the team uh, Murphy is also into the team because Mitrovic was a bit tired or at least that's what he sent an email to me saying so let's get straight on with the first game so the first game of episode 7, as I said, is against Wigan Athletic. It's an away game and we've got a game against Burton coming up shortly afterwards. So fitness wise, that could be a challenge, but Mitrovic will be back in the next game. We're just going to have to try and grind out a result from this one. And of course, we don't need to win, but winning and continuing to win, obviously, is what's going to get us up this season and really hammer home the promotion, which we're looking good for at the moment. So let's get straight on with this game. I mean, um... Daryl Murphy hasn't had many chances, but to be honest, he's not very good on FIFA, so that is the main reasoning behind that. And Mitrovic, if you're looking for an aerial threat, is probably more reliable, I'd say, so... Yeah, he, he usually starts ahead of uh, Daryl Murphy, and you need a pacey striker to get in behind as well, so... With Dwight Gale injured, it's uh, Ambrose's turn to fit the bill, and that's a pretty comfortable one for Sells. I mean, the one thing I've realised as I went after recording the last episode is probably that I've just been playing a bit too safe in my style. And yes, it means that I've not conceded very many goals, as Lascelles puts a very good challenge in. It means I've not conceded much, but it also means I haven't scored really enough. Um, and that is a problem. Like, I'd be willing to concede more goals if it meant scoring more, to be honest. Right, can we just actually get somewhere from this? Hang on a minute. He takes the shot, and that's well blocked, but that's our first reasonable attack of the game. Now from the corner, maybe we can just get something. No, nope, that's not looking like it. Um, but they, they, It looks like they might have just given this ball straight back there. They have. Alright, so I've come to the logical conclusion that for all I am up for a challenge in this career mode, I'm sorry but Legendary is just too much for me at the moment. I don't feel like I've got the quality to take it on, like if you've got really high quality players, fine, yeah, Legendary is good, but I don't know, my players right now are good, but they're not high quality enough to take on Legendary, I don't feel, so back to world class, and we're gone with a different formation, the 4 2 3 one with a more in a more wide variation of it with play the wingers actually playing out wide rather than sort of being central attacking midfielders but you know it's hopefully gonna work Burton away the first game back on world class and we'll see how it goes so now the mighty Burton Albion lie in wait for Newcastle at the Pirelli Stadium, it's not Court Lane EA, like get your facts right Pirelli Stadium mate, big ground I'm, I'm being serious like it's an arena at which we are hopefully gonna win but no in all seriousness the meteoric rise of Burton has been something that a football fan can't really ignore even if they have got six, a 6,000 capacity stadium but I mean heck we're just gonna have to focus on beating them to be honest first game back on world class and we'll see how it goes for all it is gonna be easier now that we're back on world class we can't underestimate it in any way as that's 1-0 to them I literally just said it oh literally just said don't underestimate it and the header somehow gets its way past cells I mean that's very questionable goalkeeping that oh dear oh dear he should certainly be saving that header but oh Grady puts Burton in front now looking for an instant response and that's surely a penalty. This is the chance to equalise it straight away. A poor challenge on Aaron's as he was looking like perhaps getting through. Last ditch stuff. Defender couldn't get it right. 
But now Shelby to absolutely blast it, hopefully. Oh yes, he's put it into that bottom corner. Shelby may have had a reputation for missing a few of those, but he's not going to miss that one. Instantly responding to get back into the game. That's more like it, lads. And now Hughes. Great challenge, Will Hughes. And now he comes away with the ball. And now a driving run, potentially. Waiting for the man to get in behind. It's Diame. Bottom corner, maybe. And it's just rolled past the post. That could have been the moment. Man, what a hectic start to this game. This is complete contrast to the Wigan game in terms of exciting exciting football. I mean, it's, it's just been so much more fun and entertaining. Like, even if we went behind, I've still enjoyed it a lot more so far than the last game. Looking for the run, but not looking like getting it. And, oh, that was close from Aaron. Closer than I was expecting, to be honest. On the turn, not bad. Got there uh, first, though. Now from the corner, potential opportunity here, oh it's off the bar, oh that was mighty close to making it 2-1, like to be honest I just, I noticed he was unmarked for a second, I was like hang on maybe this is something, and now potentially here, Matt Ritchie, taking it on and shooting but it's a good save, and now counter attack, come on last attack surely. No, they're not going to let us have a last attack. So that's 1-1, one, one, a decent result. It's not a win, maybe, but next game is against Sheffield Wednesday and a huge one. So if we can win that, we're back on track. But a more lively game and I'm feeling a bit more positive for the future in this career mode now. So now it's time for the third game in the episode and it's sure to be a fierce encounter with Sheffield Wednesday. Um, who are up there on the table, certainly up there. And... Same team as last game, so, you know, maybe we'll be able to do well in this game, but, you know, it's going to be a tricky one, bearing in mind, seeing as they are fourth in the table. So, yeah, um, the bare bones of it is, it's going to be a tough game, but we're going to have to face up to our fears. So here goes the grudge match against Sheffield Wednesday at St. James's Park. Now, the Sheffield Wednesday fans love to give Newcastle a bit of stick on Twitter, so it's certainly a game where if we win, it silences those doubters, and we can really rub it home that we are a stronger and better side than them. But, you know, for all the table never lies, supposedly, we've got to go out there and show that we're better than them on the pitch. So it's time to do our talking on the pitch, not just off it. And now they've won it back in a good area. Perhaps, oh, that was close. Perhaps we just gave him a bit too much space to run into there and they nearly punished us for it, but that has to act as a wake-up goal. And now potentially, oh, that was nearly an own goal. Bloody hell. Oh, dear, that was uh, nearly some dubious defending there, but now from the corner. And, no, nope, that wasn't the right effort to go for. To be honest, we screwed up the shot, so it doesn't matter. Oh, and that's a foul. That's not very sharp at all. His name's Sasso. Well, that was a bit of sass right there, but not in the right way. And that's a foul in a good position as well. I thought he wasn't going to blow up for a moment there, but we need to make the most of this. Here we go. Oh, yes! What a goal by Nokowat! Fantastic free kick. There was only one place he could have put that. And that was top pins. He's done it. Just when you needed that spark, that moment of brilliance. It's Anthony Nokua who provides it. Uh, tackled and there goes the full time whistle. Now who's the superior team Sheffield Wednesday? It's not you. It's Newcastle United. A 1-0 victory may be. But it's a victory. And that silences the doubters. How are you going to respond on Twitter to that one? Well, probably not much because, you know, owls have no taste in YouTube videos. Uh, as you would expect because, I mean, they're owls, but... <sighs> so despite a positive result against Sheffield Wednesday, uh, the bad news is we've got an injury layoff in John Joe Shelby. He suffered the exact same broken ankle injury that Dwight Gale has suffered from, and Dwight Gale will be back in four weeks. Shelby won't be back for another three months, so Kasami and Hughes are going to have to do the business for us in the meantime, but another big blow injury-wise, and we've had really bad luck with injuries in this career mode so far, but the positive is, we're on 55 points exactly halfway through the season, 
and it's now time to start the second half of the season against Nottingham Forest at home. Right then, so it's time to get on with the last game for this episode, and it is a rematch already against Nottingham Forest, who we only played last episode in the away game, Thierry Ambrose the match winner that day. He's not in the team for this game, so, I mean, we'll see how it goes. It was a goal from a corner that beat him the last time, and um, we really weren't great performance-wise, so it should be interesting to see if in the last game of 2016 in this career mode, we can get a win, because 2017 in this career mode is the year we return to the Premier League, or so I hope anyway. Nah, no, not quite. down the wing, looking for someone in the box to pick out. Most likely going to be Mitrovic. Oh, it's a good ball into him. Oh, he's got a goal already! Oh, would you believe it, Alexander Mitrovic? I swung one ball into the box. And look at that for a header. Oh, yes, my son. That is exactly what we were looking for. Oh, Mitrovic. Here we go, potentially. But he was bunched up to by a lot of players. And he didn't have the space to get the shot off. And now a great run here, Mitrovic. Are you in the middle is my question. Oh, maybe it doesn't need to be Mitrovic, it's off the bar from Kasami. Oh, that could have been 2-0. Ah, right, still 1-0 up in the game, but I really... I want to challenge myself to score a second in this game. Like, just to make it better and, and improve performance. Oh, here we go with the shot, that's going to be a corner. The corner was the route to goal against... Well, not a corner, really? Nope, that's going to be it though. We don't need the counter-attack. We don't need to score another. Because for all it wasn't a spectacular performance, Mitrovic's early goal gives us the win. Fantastic results, but not such a fantastic performance. And it's only a matter of time before, you know, we need to start improving our performances. Because the FA Cup is coming up, and some of the stuff we've been doing in recent games will not be able to cut it in the FA Cup. So that's it for the four games in the episode, now it's time to round off episode 7 of the career mode and as you can see we are firmly at the top of the table after 24 games. 58 points, not even a loss yet, and only 6 goals conceded, it is incredible. And the performances haven't always been spectacular, but there's one thing for certain, we don't concede many goals because we remove the element of risk by being careful on the ball. And that is one huge advantage of our style of play. But anyways, I would love it if we could score more goals, but honestly, if we finish top, I'm not going to be complaining. And we're really starting to get stuck into this season now, and the second half of the season will get well underway in the next episode. So if you want to see that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and that's it from me guys. Peace out.